Hello, I'm Steve Appleton, President and CEO of IIMHL and IIIDL. I hope you have all enjoyed the 2022 Leadership Exchange. I'm sorry not to be there with you in person, but I'm attending our Australasia and Pacific Islands hub in Christchurch, New Zealand. I wanted to share my appreciation with you all, some highlights for the year and some news about the future. We've seen lots of change since our last leadership exchange in 2019 in Washington. We've all lived through the extraordinary time of the pandemic and have had to find new and alternative ways of doing our jobs, leading our organisations and maintaining relationships. Whilst the pandemic kept us physically apart, in my experience it has led to closer working and stronger relationships. This is evident from the number of attendees we've seen taking part in our Leadership Exchange event this October. We've seen hundreds of people attending the virtual matches and our in-person regional hub meetings in Washington, Christchurch and Dublin, which have all been at full capacity. I want to thank every one of you for taking part. Our organisation exists because of its people and our commitment to share our knowledge, expertise and good practice to improve the lives of people with mental health problems, addiction and people with a disability. I especially want to thank our wonderful host countries for welcoming visitors in person. My colleague Cathy Langlois has worked incredibly hard to coordinate and organise this year's Leadership Exchange and our North America hub with the help of Erin Ganey. It takes a global network to make these events a success, but many individuals have gone above and beyond. There has been a huge effort and lots of generosity to make this event happen, and it would take hours to mention everyone specifically. But on behalf of IIMHL and IIDL and our board, I would like to say a huge thank you to our planning committee and those who have led sessions, including Ruby Moore, Holly Echohawk and Arthur Evans, as well as our IIIDL lead, Eddie Bartnick. We're also especially grateful to the following people. Stephanie Priest from the Public Health Agency of Canada, Ed Mantler from the Mental Health Commission of Canada, Shona McKechn from FRAME, Jennifer Thomas at the Office for Disability Issues in Canada, Jennifer Johnson from the Administration for Community Living, Dr Anita Everett from SAMHSA, Brian Hepburn and Megan Haupt from the National Association of State Mental Health Programme Directors, the Hogg Foundation, Ron Manderscheid and Michael Kendrick, and all the associated teams who supported the work and helped us move along. Our events and exchanges would not happen without our sponsors and supporters, and I want to thank all of you for your generosity. The overall theme this year has been valuing inclusion, resilience and growth, and I'm delighted that we had a specific focus on Indigenous and youth engagement. And I'd like to thank everyone involved with leading this work. I could make a feature length film if I mentioned every individual by name, but please know how much your efforts are appreciated and how grateful we are for your engagement and contribution throughout the events. I want to end my thank yous by mentioning my predecessor, and the founder of IIMHL and IIIDL, Fran Silvestri. I took over from Fran at the beginning of this year and having worked with him for a number of years before that, I wanted to say what a privilege it is to have the job of taking the organisation forward. We are all grateful to Fran for his leadership and commitment over the years and I'm very pleased that he remains involved and is still very much part of the organisation. As we look ahead, we've set several priorities, including a focus on our emerging leaders' work, strengthening our governance and focusing on diversity and inclusion. We are also planning to change the name of the organisation so that we have a single title and brand. This work is underway and we have much to do, but I wanted to share where we are and what we're planning next. We will change our name to Global Leadership Exchange. Hopefully, easier to say, find and remember, and more importantly, representative of what we do as an organisation. Please be assured that a change in name and brand does not change who we are. We are still the same organisation. We will continue to focus on our core mission, but we will look a little different. I'm excited about the change and look forward to keeping you updated on the progress and official launch details. In the meantime, please get in touch and share your thoughts and feedback on this news. I want to end my message by acknowledging the strength of our networks and relationships, and to thank you all for your commitment, attendance and interest and international collaboration and leadership development. I encourage everyone involved in the Leadership Exchange to make the most of their learning experience by continuing connections and discussions through our collaboratives, events and individually 
in the period between now and the next leadership exchange. I look forward to working with you all and expanding our global connections, as well as meeting some of you during my programme of visits in 2023. Our next leadership exchange is planned for June 2024 in the Netherlands, and you will hear more about that shortly, as well as over the coming months. Thank you again, and safe travels.